ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming from Beckley's Camping Center today to show you how you can work the Furion stereo system. It's a DVD player, Bluetooth. I'm gonna show you all that, as well as how to turn your TV on, program your local channels, and how to utilize that. For more information on this, if you have any questions, by all means, just shoot me a comment down below. I will touch base with you. Although I do have my contact information below if you feel like you want to reach out to me personally. If there's something else that you'd like me to do a how-to video or preview for, by all means, reach out to me and I'll see what I can do. I've got a little bit of time off on my hands for right now, but uh, as do many of you all out there. But the reason why I do these videos is because I do realize that on a regular basis, people that are picking up these campers are not properly shown this information. So just trying to pick up the slack there. But the, the, again, just kind of show you how it is that I do my walkthroughs or some of the things that I do for my walkthroughs for customers that purchase through me. So let's get on to this video. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, if you're gonna wanna want, listen to your FM stations, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pull the TV out. It is actually secured, well, by the way, I'm in a Reflection 150 Series fifth wheel, uh, but in the event that you're going to turn this on, again, this is the Grand Design product. Not sure where yours, yours is gonna be, but uh, years ago, they had what they called antenna boosters for the TV antenna. Nowadays, it actually turns the antenna on. The antenna for the TV is also the antenna for your stereo in this particular case. So if it, it may or may not be that way for you, but in this case for the reflection, it is. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is pull your TV out and then behind your TV, let me show you what we're talking about. So now in the event that this is not the way yours is set up, but if you follow where your cable coming from the TV is connected into the wall or your wall socket, that is typically where your antenna booster or your actually antenna uh, power switch is. And what you're gonna be doing is this, in this case, it's a red button. Sometimes there could be a black button, but you can see a little red light that it came on. I don't know if you can see that back under there or not, but a little red light came on. Sometimes, sometimes they might be green. So make sure that that is on if you're gonna be using your TV for local channeling or your stereo. So here you're looking at, this is the Furion. It's an FM stereo. You have CD player, you have a DVD player, you have Bluetooth, you have an aux plug, so you can play other things through it, headphone jack, as well as USB. Now, most people are gonna be using it for the FM. Don't know many people that are using it for CDs, but you may be doing that. DVD player, it is not a Blu-ray player. But what happens is when you turn this thing on, and remember I told you make sure that you have the antenna turned on in order to do this, you're gonna be, you can scan through what is on here. There's your aux, there's FM. Go through, there's, that's gonna be Bluetooth, and I'm gonna show you that in a minute. ARC. Arc, your AVN, aux plug, and then you're gonna come back to FM. Now, if I were to have that ante the antenna on, when I'm gonna search for channels, you push this little arrow button, and it's gonna search for channels for you. And once it finds them, it'll stop. Now, if you wanna program that particular station on a particular number, you have numbers one through six here. And so if I wanted to, I could push number three, Hold it when you hear a beep, and you can see it made it number three. You can see earlier, I had 94.3 listed for number two. So that is how you program the stations in here. Now you do have speakers inside and outside. Inside speakers are gonna be zone one, and here you have zone one and two. So as you can hear, it's on zone one, and now it is on zone two, it's outside. Now, the thing you gotta keep in mind is that when you have the volume controlled, you set, if you, if you set this volume for outside, it's gonna be way too loud for inside. So just keep that in mind. So now let's get into how this Bluetooth works. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and program it on your phone so that you can play Bluetooth. And the beauty of the Bluetooth 
through your stereo is that you can set the volume to be controlled from your phone. So what you're doing is, there's a little, uh, it's a second one in from the right, and you just push that button, it comes off, it'll say no link. And what you want to do is, on your phone, you want to go to your settings, open up your Bluetooth, and what it's going to do is, down the bottom, it's going to come up and it's going to say Furion, and I don't know if you can see that or not. There it comes. It says the Furion DV3300. Just click on it. Now, for whatever reason, if you're hooking Bluetooth to any of the um, any phones, some of them might come up like this one did, asking for a PIN, a personal identification number. You just hit four zeros and hit the pair button, and it's going to pair. As you'll see here in a moment, it's going to show connected on your phone before, but see now it says link OK. Now you're hooked up. Now what you're able to do is go into whether you're doing Spotify or whatever your music's on, and what I tell you to do is turn the volume up here first, turn it all the way up, and then what you're going to do there, I'm going to turn on the inside stereo speakers here, you're going to control your volume from your phone. So you go ahead and put it on here. It's that simple. Now, keep one thing in mind, that if you're going to go ahead and shut off your Bluetooth, before you do that, as you can hear how loud it would be, turn it way back down. I'm going to say turn it back to down about 10 or so, because if you come back over to your stereo here, come back over the stereo here one second, you're going to notice it will be way too loud going from Bluetooth to your regular stereo. So that's how easy it is to set up your Bluetooth. Okay, so now it's how to program the TV. Now I'm going to go through some steps right now. This is a TCL TV, but this will work pretty much the same way on most TVs, except for those Roku TVs that have just come out. And I'll get to those here one of these days uh, because they, they seem to be a little more complicated. Uh, but what you're going to want to do is find your remote, make sure it has batteries in it. Of course, make sure you're plugged into power as well. If you see the lighting on down here, you can see the, this thing's lit up uh, white light. You know that you have power. And what you're going to do is you're going to turn this on. You'll notice the light goes off at that point. Now you're on. Now, what we're going to need to do is we need to make sure that we're set to TV. As you can see right now, I don't know if you can read that, that says HDMI 2. But we're going to go ahead and go to input. Input's going to come up. So as you can see, when the, t when the um, input comes up, you can see that it's going to have all the different things there. What we need to do is we need to get up to TV. And what you're going to be doing is using the arrows on your phone, I mean on, your, on this, you're going to point it to it, you're going to get it up to TV, and then you're going to click OK. Now at this point, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the menu button, and you're going to want to click that on. And then you're also going to be using your arrows on this. What we need to do is, right now it's on input, we need to come down to channel. If you just push to the far right, it's going to, you see how it goes? You could go the long way like this, or if you would like, you could just push go left and it's going to come right over to the channel button. Click OK. Now you can see up at the top left hand corner there, it says right now, cable and satellite, again using the arrows, and by the way, you would have to go ahead and program it if you're connected to cable. This TV is going to go ahead and be able to use cable, satellite, um, DVD player, or regular local channeling using the, um, using the antenna on the roof. So it, again, we're in menu, come over to channel, we want to go ahead and search antenna. So you push the button to antenna, you come down and scan, and it's going to scan. As you see, it's already been programmed, but I'm just going to go through and show you what happens here. And as you can see, as it's going through the progression, it's going to be telling you how many digital channels that were found. Now, once it's found the channels, they'll come on. We met. Sometimes you got to hit exit or OK in order to get to them. Now, sometimes you're going to get these spots and so forth in them. That does happen. 
So you're going to want to go ahead and maybe go to another channel. Just because it said it found 8 to 10 or 20 channels does not necessarily mean that you have that many channels. As you can see, some of these channels are not going to come in very well. Let me just find something that I know that's going to work here. So there's, the nice thing is with local TV is if you're somewhere where this is going to work for you is the TV channels are clear as day for the channels that you actually do get. So if you're in a large metropolitan area, you're going to find some great channels. Now, you want to go ahead and put on a DVD. Let me show you how to do that. So for your DVD, all you need to do is push it, put it right inside your, the CD slot on the stereo. And then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to switch to what this is plugged into. Let me take a look in the back. So this one is hooked into HDMI. If you look on the back, you're going to be able to determine which one you have. I gotta see if that's H. I think it's gonna be HDMI 2 though. Depends on where it is connected on the app on there. So now what you're gonna want to do then is you're gonna to want to turn up your turn up your stereo volume because it's not gonna be as loud as it would be if you were playing your stereo if you left that volume low. And then once it comes on, you'll be able to tell the difference. So see that's set at about 20, 25, 26. If you had that for the stereo, it would be way too loud. Before you eject your DVD, make sure you turn that volume back down because if you had it on the stereo prior, it's going to go right back to the stereo and it will be way too loud for you. So just a little bit tip bit of information. So for both your TV and your stereo, you do have remote controls. Now somebody did say something about this, and I'm not familiar with it, but somebody said that there's some type of an app you could put on your phone for the Furion stereo. I'm not aware of it, but uh, that might be something that's out there. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully that basic information on how to utilize this, you're gonna be able to utilize, and hopefully that helped you through things. Um, if you have any questions, by all means, feel free to reach out to me. Do appreciate you watching. If this is the first time you're uh, watching a video of mine. Please do consider subscribing. And I'll be coming back at you again soon. Take care.